What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about the Hummer EV. Now, before I get into what I'm going to talk about in today's video, uh, I just want to say a few things to kind of clear some things up. Uh, right now, the YouTube channel, obviously, I, I, content, it's not that it's dry. It's just that I can't, like, sit in front of a camera like this and make content because it's just so boring. And I, like... I have a dream to obviously work on cars, that's why I talk about them so much, and I, I want to kind of get into that, but I want to do it on my YouTube channel, and I want to make content out of it, but right now, it's kind of impossible for me to do that, you know, for obvious reasons, uh, if you look at me, I'm obviously not capable enough to drive or own a car, I have a long way to go, uh, more likely about a year and a half before I can actually get my hands on my very own car. So it's going to be a bit of a slow process with this YouTube channel, but hopefully by just sitting here and talking about cars, I'll give you guys something to kind of go off of, some content to watch. But uh, I guess that's all I have to say right now, so uh, let's just get into the topic of the video. So today we're going to be talking about the Hummer EV. I'm sure if you know about it, you know that this Hummer is probably the least practical practical Hummer, and uh, I'm going to tell you guys why today. Uh, and that's mainly for two experiences I've seen with, that other people have had with these vehicles that make them just so impractical. But first, we're going to talk about uh, the headlights and tail lights. Uh, on a Hummer EV, the headlights and tail lights are very expensive and very quality and whenever something goes out or a light bulb blows out or the headlight just completely breaks it costs a lot to fix it and that's you're gonna see a main pattern in the Hummers activity here in maintenance Hummers are a lot they cost a crap ton to fix and maintenance or keep up with on maintenance and that's what makes the car just so absurd, and that's why nobody is wants to buy these and find them so impractical. But, one more reason, also sorry if I'm like, kind of, I, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I just am, so just ignore that. But, um, one, another example of this is if you go on Twitter, I don't know exactly where the tweet is, but there was a guy who tweeted about how... He got in a crash, or somebody else tweeted about him getting in a crash uh, with his Hummer EV. And in this crash, it wasn't too bad of a crash. It was kind of just his rear fender was horn off, and, you know, some, some of it was just a little unrepairable, and he had to get some new parts and new stuff. All of this cost him around $80,000 to fix with this car. So... I'm pretty sure you get the picture now that the Hummer EV is definitely not very practical. Uh, and I guess the reason being is that all these new EVs, they're becoming pretty expensive. And the Hummer is probably the most expensive new EV of all time. I mean, I, I don't really see how any of these are going to be bought. I don't see how they're going to leave the market. I mean, they... They'd have to basically give them out for free if they, if it was really that bad with maintenance. But uh, I think that's all I have to talk about in today's video. It's pretty short and sweet, but I just wanted to keep it that way. Uh, I have some more video ideas. I just don't have, like, I, I don't want to sit here in front of the camera and just be boring. So it's kind of hard to do that, you know. But um, either way, I hope you guys learned a little something about the Hummer EV and why it is impractical. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.